So hello guys, my name is Daniel. I'm walking at Stalab at Surrey Space Centre on Fair Space Project. So I'm giving a talk about our research in robotics and AI for space and how does that fit into the new space era uh, in the UK space industry. So in the recent years, a lot of evidence or studies already shown um, the next three to five years or 10 years will be uh, a exploding market for in-orbit service and factory. And the key enabling technology will be space robotics. So in-orbit servicing is actually cover a lot of different topics. For example, debris removal, um, transportation, assembly or refueling. And they all need space robotics technology in different aspects. So space robotics is not a, a, you know, a single subject. It actually cover a lot. Uh, multi-discipline subjects, for example, from space science to material science. Uh, so it's actually need a lot of uh, collateral efforts from different sub, uh, different aspects. So in the next three or ten years, um, for our research, we can contribute to research and development, also high-level TRL demo, as well as contribute to new space mission designs. So um, as the RATS white paper has shown, uh, the next three to 10 years will be the golden age for space robotics and AI. So at Surrey, at Startlab, we are doing a lot on space robotics and AI research to enable or to help the industry to achieve those goals in the next three to 10 years. So we cover uh, quite a lot of different aspects of research. And the first one is of course, is planetary applications, um, for example, the planetary robotic drills. So this drill showing here is actually inspired from WASP. So it's actually bio-inspired uh, WASP mechanical drill. It has the, the driver inside as well um, to penetrate all the um, mass or moon simulates in our lab. And also we're doing planetary rovers. Um, we do have a sand test bed in our lab as well to do mobility check, um, mobility uh, testing uh, of the new rover designs. Uh, we also do the autonom autonomous GNC system for the rover. And one of the, our main topic is actually orbital robotics. Uh, we do have a, a Starlab um, robot, uh, orbital robotic test bed over here to, to show, um, I'll, I'll show you the video in the next slide. So probably that can help you um, better understand what is that, what the, what it is doing. Uh, of course, um, uh, at last we're doing loads of deep learning and uh, research um, for space applications. So the first one I'm showing here is actually a active debris removal research. Um, the, the model you're showing here, the, the target it's showing in this video is actually a AKM uh, nozzle, which considered as a manned space debris in orbit. And we are using the orbital test bed to try to do autonomous, autonomously uh, grasping to the nozzle. And, and thanks to the six degree of freedom of the, the simulation on arm, so we can sort of like simulate microgravity environment. So as you can see, when we do the pulling motion, it actually follows the trajectory uh, of the, the servicing arm. So the next demo I'm showing here is actually for in-orbit assembly. Um, as you may know, um, you know, James Webb's is actually is getting big, but we actually need a larger telescope than James Webb's to see uh, further distance stars. So the best way to do so is to do assembly in orbit. And uh, we are using the, the orbital robotic test bed to do uh, AI-based, uh, deep learning-based uh, autonomy um, autonomously assembly. Um, we only use 2D camera to read the post information from the, the target, which is a supporting structure from the telescope segment. And then the computer is doing the assembly and docking work by itself autonomously based on the deep learning um, post estimation from the target. As you can see now it's achieving the final docking. So the last one I want to show is we're doing loads of deep learning. Um, sorry, and deep learning requires loads of data. And 
for space, how we collect the data, we're actually using the orbital body test bed uh, with the with the lighting simulation uh, as in orbit. So we duck out all the rooms and with sun simulator. So we just let the robotic arms carry some carry up some um, predefined motion, trying to generate the data set from different angles and, and from different orientation uh, relative to the target. Of course, um, we also can generate the pre predefined motion of the target as in orbit. So to cover the whole aspect of different angles and different lighting conditions as, as you see in space. Um, it's, it's actually pretty fun to watch it. And the data set can generate, for, for example, for one, one hour, we can generate about like 20,000 data sets just from this uh, autonomous motion. Well, thank you very much. Uh, if you're interested in our research, you can find more information from our, a, a, you know, our StatLab website uh, linked over here. And we recent, recently published a book edited by our lab lead, Professor Yanga. Um, it's actually covered all the different aspects of the space robotics and AI uh, system and the recent advances as well as applications. So thank you very much.